What's up guys, Switch Light Footage here. With that being said, uh, before I begin today's video, I just wanna say one thing. The Milwaukee Bucks are gonna be the 2024 NBA champions. Yeah. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you something. Yes, I said it. Today, if you keep up with basketball or the sports world in general, you would know that Damian Lillard just got traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm not going to go too much into detail with that, but just want to put it on the record. Anybody that's hating, well, you can keep hating. Anyways, with that being said, that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about a PS Vita homebrew that just recently came out today. I think it was today or yesterday called Purified. And it is a third-person shooter. This is part of the Fuhen, I believe, Fuhen PS Vita contest uh, to see who can make the best homebrew. Yes, as you can see, Fuhen. To see who can make the best homebrew game, I guess it's going to be a yearly running thing. I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, if I was a judge or if I was paid to be a judge, this would be in my top this probably would be my winner, honestly. This would definitely be my winner. And uh, I'm gonna show you why, guys. If you have a PS Vita and uh, are looking for an, a new action game, new type of uh, third person shooter, guys, this might be the game. Uh, before I go into it, I do wanna say that this is available online or you can go to the actual Vita DB browser and get it there. But with that being said, let's go ahead and let's go into the tutorial. I want to show y'all what this game is looking like. The graphics on this game are beautiful. Give me a quick moment. Yes, that's way better. I, want, I wanted some light in here. But uh, nonetheless, uh, this game is truly spectacular in many ways more than one. Let's go to the tutorial. So this bar is your life right here. These are your dodge charges, so you can dodge enemies in this game, and you can like do a quick time dodge, uh, but you only get four of them, and they load, and you have these holy water flask. I believe there's like four of them. I have yet to get to the point where I have all four of them, and you press square to heal, and uh, X is to reload. This is your score. Uh, kill enemies don't waste ammo and perform feats to gain points so yes uh it's also pretty strategic in many ways more than one but let's take a look at this character model i think this is absolutely gorgeous um and i think it's so impressive i don't know who made this game i am not sure who is out here having the time of day to really put this all together but whoever it is i'm gonna try to make sure that they get credit in the description and just as a standard uh, just as a standard uh what do you call it uh first person third person shooter l is to aim and then r is to shoot but let's go ahead and let's look out right here so if you hold r you can actually keep running and we're told to follow the lines. I, I kind of already know how to control this game. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, and you can see these are the dodges that I'm talking about and they load right there. So you can dodge, you get some wings. I think it looks phenomenal. And here is your gun. And it's so satisfying to hit enemies in this game. But let's go ahead and let's get into this game. Let's go ahead and let's fight. One thing I really love about this game here is that the loading, the loading times, loading times in this game are excellent. They don't, you don't, you're not waiting for months, years, weeks to get your game to load. It loads in pretty fast, and I think this game was made perfectly for the Vita. I don't understand why we couldn't get more of these games when the Vita was officially around. Let's turn it up. I'm gonna be quiet. I might speak a little, but I don't want to take away from the experience. But I'm going to play for the viewfinder. I'm going to try to get you guys a better angle. Ooh. Hold up, hold up, guys. I'm going to get rid of that glare. 
That should be a little bit better. Should this should be a little bit better. But let's go ahead and let's get into it. As you can see, this game is actually very challenging and it does require you to be strategic. I have yet to get past the first boss of this game simply because of how challenging this game is. You gotta be careful. These enemies, they can come in from anywhere and really start causing some damage. Ooh, kind of get like a little thing. And so yeah, you go through waves and pretty much these guys are some fucking bastards. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, fuck. Let me run, let me run, let me run. I'm gonna have to heal myself now. Yeah, reloading in this game is a nightmare. But, it's not a nightmare because a bad game design. It's a nightmare because they want you to be strategic with it. I just wish there was a melee attack, but I guess that does add into the variety of this game. Ooh. Let me reload. Ooh. Oh my god! How is that not hitting him? Yeah, these enemies are very tough. Where is he at? Where is he at? Got him. Got him. Fuck, I just wish I had more of a life thingy. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about. And the gun's right next to him, of course. This guy is a absolute demon of a monster and it's so hard to get past this guy i have yet to do it where'd he go i gotta keep on i gotta keep an eye because this guy can come out from anywhere oh <laughs> it's it's a really it's actually uh it's actually pretty frightening i'm not gonna lie and that guy's coming for you. You know he's about to take some damage. Uh, fuck. Luckily I, I landed some good hits on him. It's that third line of health is what you're is what you will have trouble on. Is what you will have trouble on. I'm sorry guys about the glare. Let me go find the other guns. Ooh, we have one here. Oh. Bet that. Bet that. Do we have ammo on this? And hopefully I can beat him on this on this attempt. Yeah, let me get up out of here. I thought I changed my gun. You know, the whole point of this game... Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Ooh. The whole point of this game... Is to beat this guy. I mean, not to beat this guy, but to survive. I'm assuming it's only gonna get harder. Oh. Okay, now let me get away from this guy. Let me get away from this guy at all costs. Oh yeah, he's coming in and he's hungry. I'm gonna have to use all of these. I'm gonna have to use all of these. 
because this guy runs like a maniac. And just for this, let me turn off the lights. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. Let's try to beat this guy. Ooh, ooh. This is a very difficult boss. And I've yet to beat him. And honestly, I've made so much progress, but I think I'm gonna die. I haven't been keeping up with my life. As you can see, this is a very comprehensive game. And whoever developed this game deserves some mad props. Some extreme, some extreme props. I don't know where this guy's at. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, he's coming. He's coming. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Oh. <laughs> I can't, I can't see. oh, oh no. Fuck. No, it wasn't supposed to end like this. It wasn't supposed to end like this. Oh no, I'm on one life. I'm on one life. If I get it for y'all guys, y'all guys owe me a like. Oh. Ah! So I can't quit! My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Ah, you can dislike it. It's whatever. Anyways, I got a score of 195. I'm assuming if you beat this guy, you get a bunch of waves of more enemies. Let's go to the start to the menu. You have a codex here. You have characters. I'm assuming there's more than one. That guy looks terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. This guy looks like he's a demon. I mean, he is a demon, right? And this guy looks like fucking... The head honcho of them all. Look at that guy. And you have your different types of weapons. I've yet to see some of these weapons. I would love to see that. It's freaking dope, right? And then we have enemies. Different types of enemies. Yeah, that looks badass. And they have different backstories between them. But yeah, guys. Just want to give you guys a quick look at this homebrew. It looks... To me, to me, this this homebrew does does look like it is uh, it is like damn near complete, and I think it fits the PS Vita perfectly, guys. I think it fits the PS Vita so perfectly. I think it's so awesome. But yeah, guys, if you have a Vita and it's modded uh, today, the Fuhen con a contest just ended. So you might want to go out there and check out Purified and uh, definitely get this on your console and your handheld and uh, show this guy some love. If you find him, I'm going to try to find him, link it in the comment and show him some love. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you going to be downloading this? Will you be downloading this? Uh, what are your thoughts on this game? What did you think about the whole contest in general? And overall, what did you think about, um, you know, some of the games that were up there?